so I want to make this video and uh, well I was I was doing some reading and online and reading some people's uh, story who have been diagnosed with schizophrenia and just you know there's a lot of it, it, you know this, this illness it, it, it just ruins lives uh, many lives and um, but it, it, it's always uh, beautiful to see people recover um, they may not regain the full fullness of the lives that they once had but um, they're able to make strides forward and and to me that's just a, it's a beautiful thing to see and but one of the things that struck me when I read these stories is that it's, it's the same thing that same uh, theme of my story, and that is uh, the theme of hope. And it's something I've talked about in a video before. But after reading the, these things and, and seeing it come up time and time again, I'm, I was just uh, felt I, I should come back to this because it's, it's such a monumental uh, thing to have. It is an essential thing to have if you want to um, or if your loved ones uh, want to get through uh, the illness and beyond it. And I, uh, I did change my, my update, the name of my channel to, you know, the morning, uh, what's it? The morning mist beyond schizophrenia. I don't remember it right now. Beyond schizophrenia. Um, I added that because I think that is the goal. That's my, that to me, that was my goal. And that's my, uh, that's something that I want to give uh, to others who have, are struggling with schizophrenia um, and uh, don't see any way out. One of the, 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 the heartbreaking thing that I read in those same stories is that these people, many of them are still suffering still at the mercy of the illness and um and you know i i just wish that they could see that they don't have to settle you know you don't have to be uh you don't have to stop looking forward you don't have to stop reaching for what you lost what was stolen from you if something is stolen you can get it back right you can get it back you know um and that was my uh realization and that was the 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 thought that drove me and moved me forward and carried me forward every day and um but i want to go back to uh the the, the, the some of the things that happened um what drove me uh, to continue uh, starving myself for, you know, a month, uh, over a month sometimes. Uh, and uh, and that is, was because it was a, a fixed delusion, right? That it, it, was, it was fixed in my head that I had to do this. And so, and that was why I was, uh, the doctor's, uh, performed uh, ECT on me, electroconvulsive therapy. They're talking about. They were saying that is to to because this thing is fixed in my head. They have to they hoping to shake it loose or something like that, just to jolt my mind or something uh, to move beyond it. But nothing worked. Right? Doesn't matter what meds I was on, what ECT they done, whatever whatever what talks they gave me. Um, doesn't matter even when I started to eat and started to, uh, socialize in the hospital. And even when I got out into, uh, kind of became part of everything, I was never truly part of it because my mind was always in my mind was always to go back, right? It was fixed, right? I was never severed from it. It was tethered to my mind. It was an anchor in my mind 
and it doesn't matter how far I I strayed or I was pulled or I was led, I always found my way back there because that it anchored to me. I was tethered and I and I always that was always the place that I would go back to, right? And that's important, right? For what I'm uh what I want to say. What I really want to say, uh, because that was a, a, it's a very powerful uh, 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 anchor. It was a ver- it's a very powerful hold, right? And it, it was that strong, right? It doesn't matter what happened. It doesn't matter how good I felt, how accepted I felt in the in the moment. It doesn't matter. What I was doing always went back there. So it was powerful. But the significance of that is that hope is can be held in the same manner. Right? Hope is or must become your anchor. Right? It has to be that strong inside you it has to be something that doesn't matter how bad things get doesn't matter how you're much you're pulled from it doesn't matter how bleak how dark right doesn't matter how far you fall you find your way back right you keep reaching forward you keep believing But hope is not something that's just without uh, any foundation. It needs a foundation. Needs a, 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 it needs something to rest on, right? Because it's not. It's 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 got to be. It's got to be uh, more than just wishful thinking. You've got to know. You've got to know that there is. Uh, there is a way out that you can recover because once you start reaching for something, once you start trying to find the door, right? This is important. Once you start trying to reach for that, it's going to get bad, right? And you're going to be tested, <laughs> you know, and you're going to be trying to, you're going to be, you're going to be pulled and you're going to want to give up. You don't want to throw in a towel. And you want to want to say there's no point in this. But that's what I'm saying. It's got to be an anchor. Because when all that comes, doesn't matter how distressing, you 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 find your way back. It's got to hold. You know. And but it 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 must rest on a knowing that there is recovery. If you don't know that, you can't have the hope to get fully better. You won't have it. It's impossible. You know, um, and that's why a lot of people settle for the meds because the meds, it gives them, it is, it's, uh, it gives them some sense of uh, normalcy that you can function somewhat and do things and what and whatnot and it reduces some of these symptoms and all that but and you were told that this is all there is and we believe that and we accept it and we stopped reaching we no longer look beyond uh you know the balcony of our <laughs> if you will of our residence we are we become we're sold. We bought what we're sold. And we no longer uh, reach out for anything. Anything greater. And we become content. Our expectations are satisfied. And there we surrender. You know. And the battle is still raging. It hasn't been won. And yet we surrender. Because we've, that's what we've been told, that this is all there is, right? And, uh, but I, you know, I, I, I had, I, I wasn't content. I kept fighting. 
And uh, I want others to keep fighting. I want others to keep believing. You know, I was told, and, I'm, and, I've, and I've been told this a lot by people sometimes when I'm talking to uh, people going through difficulties and stuff, um, and that, you know, I shouldn't really, people are afraid to, to give hope, to, to speak on hope. People are afraid uh, because they, they, they think that if people start believing something and doesn't, and doesn't come to fruition, then they're going to be hurt or crushed or something like that. I'm like, well, that's ridiculous. <laughs> you know, I mean, maybe some people would, but it's that's just such a, a, a defeated mentality. You know, and it's it's uh, it, it's no wonder that we 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 stay in in the conditions that we are. You know, we're so babied and and, and coddled and and uh, just so afraid to step out because we're afraid of failure. How is that even make any sense? Imagine a child who uh, learned to walk after seeing the parents walk and walk and walk and they try to t get up and take a step and they fall. And they get up and they fall and they get up and they step and they, and they fall. And how many times do they fall before finally they take one step, they take another step, and maybe another and they fall again? You know what I mean? What if they just given up? You know, what if they, what if we had given up in that when we were there, but we, you know, that, that, and this is what we're trying to, that, what I've been told or I've been sold, you know, about relaying that to other people sometimes is that, you know, it's, 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 you don't, don't, don't want to see people crushed if they fail or fall or something. It's like, it blows my mind. You know, but ch children, infants, your, your, your toddlers, these kids, they, 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 we, we had that. You know, it was something that was instinctual. But we've learned our way out of it. And uh, we got to get back to that if we want to make uh, the progress that we really want. You know, um, I've been oh, maybe 12 years now or so still going. You know, I've been starting this, uh, this walk and, um, still going, no problems, you know? Um, so it's just, uh, just want to, you know, and I, I'm going to come back to this again because it's, it's so important. And, you know, it's another thing I want to talk about is, is expectations because you're going to get what you expect. You know, that's just, that's just the way it is. If you expect to fail, you're going to fail. If you expect to succeed, if you keep fighting, you're going to reach that. You know, um, we get what we expect. That's just, that's just how it is. And, and that's really important. And when you, when you have hope, you have expectations. You have to wake up every morning with that expectation. You have to go to bed every every night with that expectation. And you don't stop expecting until you receive it, or else you're gonna you die in that expectation. That's how you gotta hold it. <laughs> no quitting. There's no surrender. There's no failing. You might fall, get back up. There's no there's no quitting. You just keep moving forward. You know. And you stand like that. You walk like that. It's got to find... Um, all you need to know is that it's possible. I'm here to tell you that it is possible. I've done it. Right? And I'm not the only one. I'm sure others have done it as well. And you can do it too. So let your hope rest on that fact that it is possible. That you can do this. You can fully recover and um, have that expectation every day, every night, every, doesn't matter what comes, what voices you hear, what doesn't matter. That's beyond, besides the point. Keep moving forward. Challenge everything. I don't mean combat them verbally. Just leave them alone. Who cares? Let them talk. Let them talk. Do what you're doing. Focus on what's in front of you and move forward. Don't listen to what's behind you, what's above you, what's left or right and center. Who cares? Turn your back and all that and set your sights forward and keep walking forward. You know, that's how you beat them. That's how you win.
you know, do the things that that they, that you don't want to do. If you're in, the anxiety is a challenge that put yourself in the places, talk to people, challenge that, you know, and that's how the more you challenge that, more you put yourself out there, so, you know, the more, uh, the more of yourself that you take back. You can't take back yourself unless you go out there and you fight for it. That's how it is. That was stolen from you. If you wanted, you got to go and fight for it and take it back. It's not going to come without a fight. It ain't going to come for free. You're going to have to go out there on the battleground and you're going to have to take it back. But just, you know, saying? Just, it's not about verbal sparring voices. It's about living your life, looking forward and walking forward. Do the things you want to do. Despite everything, don't worry about any, any of that other stuff. Look forward and walk ahead. So that's it for this video. And um, hopefully you reach somebody, you can help somebody. I don't know. Um, it, it, it's, it's not the kind of thing where you can, you know, if you know, know someone who's suffering from schizophrenia, it's not the kind of thing you can give to them. The, 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 the thing that I've experienced, how I've got through it, it's not something you can give. It's not what you can do, although um, you can do stuff. And I'll talk about that in another video, but um, this is something that the mind has to be ready for uh, to receive. And uh, it's just a matter of a person uh, reaching that point when they're ready to take those steps forward because you can't see it. You can't get it until you're ready, you know, but, um, you know, hopefully they're ready and um, hopefully you're ready if you're diagnosed and, and want to make those progresses, medications or not, stay on meds. It's all right, but you can still make those progress where you're free from all of that, all the other symptoms that are still there. And um, yeah, anyway, see ya.